Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a hierarchy with a menu so that when you tween in one part of the menu, they all follow in in unison. Now, all I've got on the screen right now is three objects. I've got a menu sprite, which is just a yellow rectangle, and then I've got another menu sprite, which is a black and gray striped object. And I've got some text that say that says menu. Now what I want to happen is when I pause my game, for example, the menu is going to the menu is going to slide in from the from the right hand side and position itself in the top right hand corner. Now if I click on the yellow background sprite and add the tween behavior, which I already have done, and then go to the game events and add in keyboard on keyboard pressed space. And this can be any key you like, really, whatever key you want for the game to be paused. Then I want to go to menu and say tween one property. We're going to say X in 0.5 seconds at, sorry, in 0.5 seconds. And we want the end value to be 288. And the reason it's 288 is because if I move my sprite here to the top right of my layout and I look at my X position, it's 288. And then back here, it's 352. So it's going to tween from here to here. Now, if I play and test, that's all well and good, but it's just going to bring in that yellow rectangle. Now, I want the black and gray and the menu text to come in with it. So the way to do that is to highlight everything and then right click the object you want the other objects to be pinned to in the hierarchy. So for this case, it's the yellow rectangle. We're going to right click, we're going to go to hierarchy, and we're going to add the selection to this instance. Now, if I move these out, you can see now that they're linked via this green arrow. Now, that green arrow is not going to show. It's just showing you that that object is linked to the base object. Now when I preview the game and I push space, all the objects come in together as they should, even though we haven't assigned the tween behavior to either of the other two objects. And that's a really simple and easy way you can add items to your menus when they're tweening in and out of your game. I'd like to give a massive thank you and a shout out to my wonderful Patreon and YouTube channel members, FoozleCC, Endmark Games, Jess Matt, Tor Hammock Alexanderson, Martin K, Davey Wagnerock, John Allegreza, Dan, Matt Nixon, Callum Keane, Simon Babanu, Draven, Chris Massinio, Drill Moon TV, and Jerry Lee. Thanks again for supporting the channel, and if you want to find out more about what's on offer in the Patreon, there's a link in the description.